The Eternal Punishment, a glimpse into Babuin's masterpiece. Imagine being chained to a rock, where every day an eagle comes to eat your liver, only for it to grow back and be eaten again. This is the fate of Prometheus, a hero who dared to steal fire from the gods and give it to humans. In this painting by Dirk van Baburen, you can see the moment when he is being chained by Vulcan, the god of fire, while Mercury, the messenger of the gods, mocks him. Who is Prometheus and why is he punished? Prometheus is a titan, a race of powerful beings who ruled the world before the gods. He was a friend of humans, and he wanted to help them improve their lives. He stole fire from the gods and taught humans how to use it for cooking, heating, and crafting. He also gave them other gifts, such as arts, sciences, and medicine. The gods were angry at Prometheus for his theft and generosity. They saw humans as inferior and unworthy of such gifts. They decided to punish both Prometheus and humans. Zeus, the king of the gods, sent a beautiful woman named Pandora to humans, along with a box that contained all the evils of the world. When Pandora opened the box, she unleashed diseases, wars, and miseries upon humans. As for Prometheus, Zeus ordered Vulcan to chain him to a rock in the Caucasus Mountains, where an eagle would come every day to eat his liver. Prometheus was immortal, so he could not die, but he suffered endlessly. The painting was made in 1623, as part of a series of eight paintings for a chapel in Rome. Baburon was a Dutch painter who was influenced by Caravaggio, an Italian painter who was famous for his realistic and dramatic style. Baburon used a technique called chiaroscuro, which means light and dark in Italian. He used strong contrasts between light and shadow to create a dramatic effect and to draw attention to the main figures. The painting shows Prometheus being chained by Vulcan, who is holding a hammer and a nail. Prometheus is lying on the ground, his face twisted with fear and pain. He is looking at us. Mercury is wearing a winged helmet, and he is holding a staff with two snakes around it. This is his symbol as the messenger of the gods and the guide of souls to the underworld. The painting also shows a unique setting for the myth. Instead of the Caucasus Mountains, Baburan chose to place the scene in Hades, the underworld where the dead go. In the background, you can see flames and smoke. Two other figures are also being punished. One is tied to a wheel that spins endlessly, and the other is reaching out for water and food that are always out of his reach. These are Ixion and Tantalus, two other titans who offended the gods and suffered similar fates as Prometheus. The painting is a powerful representation of the myth of Prometheus, and it reflects the themes and values of the time. It shows the conflict between the gods and the titans, and between the divine and the human. It also shows the consequences of defying the gods and challenging their authority. It expresses the emotions of fear, pain, and mockery that are part of the punishment. The painting is also a masterpiece of art, and it shows the skill and talent of Baburin. It shows his ability to create realistic and expressive figures, and to use light and shadow to create drama and contrast. It also shows his creativity and originality in choosing a different setting for the myth, and in including other mythological references. It is a painting that invites us to explore the story behind it, and to appreciate the beauty and the tragedy of it.